Hello everybody, it's an episode of Sequin Girly Create and it's a sewing and chatting ex episode so if you want to hear what I've been up to, what I've been doing and what my plans are, stick around. Well everybody, it's Friday. I've just been to have my nails done, which is quite unusual for me. I can't remember the last time I had them done actually. Um, and I went for purple with yellow polka dots for So Yellow for Endo because when you're watching this, I will have been, I'll have come back from the Sewing for Ple excuse me, the Sewing for Pleasure event. So stick around in this episode because I'll tell you more about that. But I thought I'd hop on right now just to sort of get started. So today what I'm wearing is a ready to wear jumper but I have on my walk boldly pants. So I will put a picture in here of my full outfit. Um, these ones are the version where I slimmed the leg down and it's nice to have that variation of a, a, of a wider and a slimmer leg. Right now I am I'm in an eye about what to wear to the Sewing for Pleasure tomorrow. So first of all, I will have the two outfits I need to wear on the catwalk. I've mostly decided on shoes. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen pictures of the shoes I was choosing from yesterday. Um, and in latter parts of this episode, I will include which shoes I chose and the pictures of the finished dresses, which have been kept under wraps until Saturday. I'm really happy with them and I really like the My, My Handmade Wardrobe patterns. I will definitely be making more of both of them. So thank you to Sarah for sort of opening my eyes to even more brilliant patterns. I'm very excited about going to the same profession. I can't wait for to tell you about it later on in this episode. I am um, I'm having my hair cut tonight it's just coincidence so when you see me in a bit my hair will be cut as well and really this week that has what I've been mostly focusing my sewing on is is not rushing and finishing those patterns last Saturday was the Southern Social um, hello to everybody who came and I focused on the day there it, um, sewing my one of the dresses for Saturday and it took me most of the day because I really concentrated and wanted to get everything absolutely just right. I did all the next day stitching, everything, which, you know, pressing in between, I really took my time. So sometimes people say, whoa, you sew a lot. That's because sometimes I cut corners <laughs> and on this occasion I didn't. Um, I did do a little bit of something else and I can't even remember what it was now, but it doesn't matter. Um, so this week I also made some, some uh, they were bought tote bags, but I designed them into tote bags to um, showcase our podcast that I've made for Jess and I. So I put pictures of those in as well. And just trying to finish off a few bits of sewing that I need to get done because I've got a lot of um, half finished things again. It happens when I do all of these projects for things. I will be working this weekend when I get time on um, I Say Yellow for Endo and my Sew Frugal because I can't believe we're halfway through March now. And also while you're watching this, I will be in the virtual social. So that will give us a chance to do some sewing as well. Whew, lot going on. Um, I don't know if April's going to be a bit quiet or not, but March is whizzing away and there's a lot to do. And I'm aware I've got a lot to still get done. I'm definitely sold on making this into a top for Say Yellow for Endo. So I really need to get that done ASAP, don't I? So I'm going to bob off now and do some bits and I'll be back straight away for you, but it'll be a significant amount of hours before I come back in real time. I better get some stuff done. Okay, I'm back a bit sooner than I planned because I haven't managed any sewing today other than little bits for the dresses for the sewing for pleasure tomorrow. 
but I did want to show you what I have done today and what I found in a charity shop which I've left on the side. Okay so what I managed to find in a charity shop was this, was this tub full of star buttons and I thought sometimes when you want a really nice feature that that's perfect. They're all completely different and they were three pounds so it looks like someone's used a few but that's no problem there's loads in there so uh, yeah happy days and I also got a bag of elastic for a pound so <laughs> that was my chat. I now need to go and get my hair cut I can't believe I haven't done this sewing today I'm still looking at the fabric here but it is what it is isn't it I know I'll be doing more soon uh right I'll be back soon with what I got up to at the same for pleasure we made it we're here Jess is just grabbing a map and we're off to find Sarah now this greyest of grey days I think I've got just enough light to record well it's Sunday morning I'm recording the last bit of this vlog and trying to get it up today as well so I did not get home till 11 p.m last night um we did leave the restaurant in Birmingham about half eight but obviously getting back to the car driving just home and then getting home meant yeah I wasn't home till 11 p.m um yesterday what did i think i really liked the sewing for pleasure event i liked that the hall wasn't too big that it had carpet so it wasn't too loud and echoey i liked that you could do a good loop without having to buy anything get the scent and then go back round again i liked the variety of stools there and i loved meeting people hello to all the people that came and said hello to me Hello to people that cheered me on on the catwalk. It was just a really great day. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I'm all talked out. So let's talk about the dresses. So this was my second dress on the catwalk. I will put some video footage in either now or afterwards. This was the fabric that I bought from Minerva. It's one of those, it's, it's called Celeste, I think. It's one of those exclusive ones. This is the, the stretch velvet everybody loved this dress and wanted it I really like that I was able to take a pattern that people thought was more of just like a cozy everyday pattern and turn it into something different and I really loved wearing this so I can't wait to wear it again I would have worn it for the rest of the day but it was quite warm in the hall and I'd have got too hot in this um I love the detail of how you've got this panel that comes up the side and around the arms which means you could easily have one fabric here and another fabric here so I'm already planning at least one more of these dresses and Sarah who runs my handmade wardrobe has very kindly said that I can have a discount code for you all to buy this pattern so I will put it in the notes below if I've got it if I haven't I'll tell you in my next vlog and I'll tell you on Instagram as well but I love this pattern I love that you've got this option for the tie waist belt to go in here and I twisted it over the front or pockets on the side jumper tunic length uh, different sleeve lengths and I, as I say I'm already planning at least another one and I really like that I could take one of her patterns and do it in something different to give people a different perspective on it it was lovely to hear from Sarah that somebody came up to her stand after the catwalk and said I'm looking for the velvet dress pattern and she had to say well that one's not here but this is the pattern so that was really nice <clears throat> the other dress I made and wore was this one where I love the way the frill goes into the bust up I didn't actually need the button on the back so I just stitched a button on because it creates that nice bit of movement there without needing the button to undo I probably extended it a bit longer than the pattern but that I often do that so I can get the length I like I loaded this up with loads of yellow and mustard necklaces so when you have a look at the picture you can see how I styled it up I wore yellow shoes for both of them on the catwalk that was my first catwalk event I hope I did okay I've got no idea it's all a bit bizarre time slows down and speeds up at the same time while you're doing something like that um 
but we had a brilliant day as i say we did the catwalk we shopped the uh same for pleasure event and then we went out for a meal in birmingham as well for those of you interested i went for my me made me designed uh, leopard print dress several people asked what the pattern was sorry there isn't a pattern but just take any t-shirt pattern that you like and add add layers to it add you know gathered bits of skirt is what i would say i think sometimes we think we need a pattern when we don't if you've got a bodice block of any kind that you like you can cut that out think about where you want your waist to start and these are just rectangles i wore my hero piece of the winter, the uh, Max T over the top, and I did a sneaky little thing. I put a hairband on to gather it in so it turned under so it wasn't so long. So that was a really good tip as well. Um, if you haven't seen my uh, review of my autumn winter makes, this is my hero piece of the winter. It was perfect with this dress because it got warm, I could take it off and it balls up quite small, but when it got a bit fresh, I could pop it back on. So it's a really great piece when you want something, but you don't want something too bulky. So thank you if you helped me vote for what to wear. I was really happy with my outfit. Now I bet you want to know, did I buy anything? I was open-minded to that, but I also wanted to be choosy. So I'd gone with, <clears throat> I'd gone with the mindset of wanting some white fabric to make like a lovely white blouse. I actually, I felt quite a few fabrics. I looked at some Dobby. I actually went for, oh God, look at the way that's blooming the camera. I went for uh, double gauze. It's really soft and I just think this is going to make like a lovely sort of 80s style new romantic blouse and it's really soft on my skin. Now I bought this from a company that's a small shop that I would not heard of. Let me see if I can find the leaflet. When I find the leaflet I'll tell you but I'd not heard of them. And they're in Herefordshire so um, really excited to make that and really lovely to meet the people who own and run the shop they had a great selection of double gauze and that was seven pounds a meter which was brilliant little legs stand was a stand of dreams for me with all their jersey and french terry if you're on the lookout for interesting jerseys and french terries little legs is great I fell in love with the fabric earlier on in the day, didn't buy it and then got regret later and actually it was Autumn Jungle Safari, um, I'll try and put a picture in here but there was another fabric I kept thinking about as well which is this one. This really has like yellow submarine vibes to me but it's actually space. And I think this will make a really great dress because from a distance, it just looks like an amazing abstract pattern. And it's only when people get close that they'll realise I've got like satellites and rockets on my outfit. And that's something, as you all know, with colour that I love to do. And um, this, I think, would do that really well. So I got two metres of this jersey, but the quality of their jerseys, if you are thinking... I want some jersey, I want to feel some jersey. Go and visit Little Legs. They're in, I think, the Preston area, because it's PR. And I know that Christine's talked about going there, but I'm definitely going to arrange to go up with Christine sometime and have a look when I need some fabric. But this is a great, I, th I can't wait. I'm really thinking about what dress to make. I could make a season to be summer in New York dress, but let's see if I can think of something else. If you've got any ideas, let me know and it doesn't have to be a jersey pattern if you've seen a woven pattern that you think i could hack and make in jersey let me know just thinking about a peony dress then well i'm gonna have a think and come back to you and then i was quite restrained i think Why can't I find... ah here's the leaflet for the company the little company i told you about so they're called doherty's or yeah doherty's and they are in hereford and they're open Mondays and to Saturdays and Sunday by appointment. They have loads of fabric and I can't believe I've never heard of them. They, it looks like they do a lot of quilting cottons, but even so, it's always nice to visit a new place. So I'm going to look how far away that is and I might be organising a trip. 
and then we went to the Lady McElroy stand and I was looking at them all and there was one fabric that spoke to me. That is, as Jess said, that is me in a fabric. So I was very restrained. I got a metre and a half, so I will make a top. I might even make a top version of this. That would be nice in this, wouldn't it? Um, so uh, yes, just enough to make a top, not a dress. And last of all, we visited the gorgeous Becky of Becky Lane Studios and, or Becky's Sewing Studio. I'm really sorry, Becky. I get the two mixed up because she's changed her name. She has some gorgeous fabrics, but she also has labels. She's got jewellery. She's got all sorts on her stand. Um, I got some labels as well. So I'm just digging around for them. So these were little rosy cheeks ones. She does some of her own as well, but I went for the I Am Unique ones. And the fabric I chose was this one. And again, I got just a metre and a half because this will make a great top. So really trying to stop buying my classic three metres and buy just enough to make a lovely top. I thought that might make a nice sage brush. So there we go. I think considering the amount of fabric choice and things now, I was quite considered and yeah, I'm happy with what I got. They all seem to work beautifully well together. I'm looking at the mess on the floor. I saw some lovely people in person that I'd not seen in person for, like Becky. I also got to see people like Laura and Sam again and hello to um, people like Ruth and, and Michelle and Menopause and lots of lovely people so I will put some pictures in. Would I go again? Yes I would. So I think this is going to be a date in my diary for next year. It's a nice doable um, day for me. What I would say is getting to the edge of the NEC fine getting to the car park because the sewing pleasure was in one of the furthest halls took 20 minutes of being in the NEC complex and it's not because the sewing for pleasure had a queue it's because there's so many other things on the same site and so when you're planning to go Obviously, look at Google to get to NEC, but then add at least 20 to 30 minutes for getting through the complex to the car park and also to then walk to the hall. There are buses. We walked on the way there, caught a shuttle bus on the way back. That was very quick. Pre-booked parking and that saved £5, so definitely worth thinking about if you're driving as well. And the cloakroom was very reasonably priced. It was £3, so I put my car clothes from the catwalk in the cloakroom afterwards so going all the way back to the car and the food inside was there was a limited but good range of choices from vegetarian to chicken I had a sweet potato curry and it was just right to keep me going for the day and it didn't feel and I don't know how to I don't, it didn't feel overly commercialised. It didn't feel like you was being taken advantage of. There was plenty of seating when you wanted to sit down and it didn't feel over cramped either. So for me, it was really nice. But the thing I love most of all was seeing people and saying hello. Oh, got the lovely steps. Anna. Seeing people, saying hello um, and just being out and about in the world, which is something that I don't always get time to do. So loved it. And if you didn't say hi, but you were there and I was busy, hello to you as well. Right, I need to go and do some life admin because this afternoon is the virtual social and um, yeah, there's been a lot of sewing and I do need to do things like a bit of hoovering. So uh, hope you've enjoyed this very <laughs> odd Sunday sews. It's been very bitty. Not a huge amount of sewing happening, but it's nice sometimes that I don't always get loads done. But I've got lots of things in my head for So Frugal and So Yellow for Endo and less than two weeks to get that done. So let's see what I can do in that time. Hope you've had a good weekend and hope you enjoyed this. Do let me know if you like to see the adventures I get up to and also what you think I should do with this fabric yeah, I can't wait to make myself. I'm very excited, but I want to get the right dress. I was thinking 
of doing a Scirocco jumpsuit into a, a dress, oh, which I've got one of my Scirocco's on today. So I was thinking keeping the top the same and then doing this as a skirt. Is this where these pockets, I like them, but they do make a bit of bulk, don't they? Mm, that's not looking good there. Um, so wondering about doing it down into a skirt. So I thought that could be an interesting outfit with this, but I might do like a short sleeve. But I'm sure you've all got some great ideas, so do let me know. Bye.